Welcome back to a bit of delay there. Let's play Spyro 2. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is just a kind of a why the hell not kind of thing, you know? I kind of partially couldn't be asked to do anything today, but here I am anyway. I was playing Spyro Reignite last night and. Yeah. One idiot. I press a button in three, two, one. Zero. But the way it goes, I wanna, you know, get through that last level in Winter Thunder. Well, it's not even the last level, it's still that last speedway, but, anyways. Like, I rambled about Spyro Reignited in the previous part and went on for freaking ever making the commands and all that, but I played a bit more of it. Like Spyro 1, 2, and 3. And I gotta say, I'm kind of like on the fence now when it comes to like the potential of me helping any of the other Spyro games. It's like for Spyro 2, if I were to play the reignited version, I like when I was playing the reignited version, I went through Magma Cone, right? Yeah. Remember that? Remember that old thing? That old thing? I gotta say though, I do like how this world looks in Reignited. It does look nice. It's like, I don't know. But obviously. You know, one thing that bugs me in Reignited though is grass. Because here it's all flat. Because limitations. But in Reignited they have actual grass. And there's a problem with that in a game like Spyro, because you got gems that really blend in well. So they're hard to find. I had trouble in Zephyr, where I was like, trying to get, find where all the gems were, and it was just terrible. Also, the freaking blob things in Zephyr are apparently caterpillars now. It, it was weird. And the Romeo and Juliet is actually a man and woman, rather than a man and another man with a ridiculous voice. Anyways, what was I gonna say? Yeah, Magma Cone, right? I fucking hate Magma Cone and I don't wanna ever go through it again. Simply because of that bloody hunter challenge. So like the first challenge is a piece of piss, it's the second time around where he just goes fucking nuts with a speed. And much like in this version, you've tried to jump over him like that. Ah, Ain't happening. It's like, nope, you can't do it. You can't do it, Spyro. You have to go around him. I mean, the camera feels slightly better on the, on the minigame, but it's still horrible enough to make me reconsider <laughs> LPing the reignited version. That and the fucking speedways. Fuck the speedways. I never want to freaking go through them again. I don't think I've even got all the, uh, what were they, um, skill points from the speedways in this game, in this LP, and in my playing of the Reignited version, which is really disheartening, because I don't want to ever go through the hassle of going through those blasted speedways ever again to get skill points. They're absolutely horrible. And I was also playing one of the later speedways in Spyro 1, and it was hell. So that one's on the fence as well. I could even handle freaking treetops. I got all the shit that you can get in treetops. I had to look up how you have, which direction you have to go with a supercharge to get it, but I got it. But when it comes to freaking speedways, they're freaking... Ugh, they're so frustrating, I don't like them. Spyro, Ripto's still alive, and he's locked us out of the castle. Even worse, he's stolen our new power crystal for the super portal. If you can collect enough orbs, you'll be able to get the power crystal back from Ripto, and we can send you to Dragon Shores. Lovely. Just wanted you to speak up a bit there so that we could sync up the audio better, potentially. Sometimes I somehow end up not doing that correctly with some of these parts. 
So yeah, Spyro One's on the fence simply due to those blasted speedways, if anything else as well. And Spyro Three, Spyro Three can fucking suck a freaking egg. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, Spyro Three is oddly enough out of all of the original trilogy is the one that has the better speedways in terms of balance they're not as hard to me anyway it's weird also seeing uh, the professor in reignited just he's lost his charm man he doesn't do that aha and he just looks weird I don't know they kind of I think they messed up on the recreation of him. Anyways, what was it? So it's not the speedways that make me reluctant to play Spire Free. It's those fucking obnoxious fucking challenges. The ones with tank controls, like Bluto or whatever his name was. Shit like that I hate. And the skateboarding crap I hate because it's just such a pain in the ass, especially when it comes to racing. And that fucking one in uh, the fireworks factory with the freaking dragons. I raged like a motherfucker playing through it. So yeah, that's on the fence too. It's just so many things when I really stop to think about it. When I, you know, actually play the bloody game. That makes me think, yeah, I probably might not LP this. Because that would just be too much... For my sanity, I would fucking lose my shit. Anyways. I can see you've learned the value of orbs, Spyro. This touchy gate should work perfectly with the help of your impressive orb collection. We're counting on you, Spyro. And I'm doing my best to get that super portal working again. I promise. You know what, in the Reignite version, he kind of looks like a freaking shriveled up mole or something. It's like, I have uh, this oddly cartoony look that has like, I don't know how to describe it, it just has a charm to it that Reignited doesn't really capture. For a bus, are we? <laughs> it's just like, just what are you supposed to take from that? <laughs> like, it's like a pig with a rocket and a robot waiting for a bus or something. And it's just like, so what is the problem here exactly? <laughs> I mean, it's weird, but is there a problem? Yes, there is a problem. These guys always have something that they need taken care of. What could it be? This insurrection from the farms has got quite out of hand. We need someone to restore order. Find the inventor droid. She's been working on something big. I wonder if this is connected to robotica farms, because they're both robot levels, so maybe they interwined in that way. Maybe these farm animals were originally on that farm and they've like essentially just like we're taking over this town. With a cowboys from hell. Bam. Space cows. Oh. They become a reoccurring kind of gag of sorts in Spyro 3, if I recall. Surprisingly, I haven't actually done any of the hunter challenges in Spyro 3 Reignited. But I've played through most of the speedways, though. With all the budget Just cuts, forgot about the challenges. elevators need serious work. See, this one here is stuck. I expect it would start working if you could just give it a good whack, though. I always say, there's no repair quite like just hitting something. Like this? I always say... I wonder how they look and sound in the reignited version, because I haven't got to that point yet. It's the 
thing, man. It's like, look at, like, play Inspire 2 right here. You can see that, like, there's quite a few things about it that's obviously not aged as well as some of the things. It's like, you look at the backgrounds and it looks kind of, well, it looks like it was put together in MS Paint, I mean, it's, you know. So it obviously looks better in some parts in Reignited to other parts. Oh shit! It's like, I know, it's like the the uh, design of the characters, I feel, has a, has more of a charm than the original compared to Reignited. Everything looks a bit too polished, if that makes any sense in Reignited. Oh, oh fuck, I'm gonna burn him, of course. I forgot how to spiral. Oh, that's another thing. When I was playing Reignited through Zephyr, I sucked at it, man. I, I literally freaking got knocked the fuck out in the very starting area, because the birds just did exactly what those bastards did, essentially. This destroyed my shit. And there's nothing around here to heal. Could we technically get across that? Fuck it. Oh no, no. Invisible wall. Invisible barriers. It's like, nah, that's way into the level. You can't do that. No shortcut for you. Yeah, I think it was in this original version as well, but one thing that bugs me is... You know how Spyro does that? He glides. He's literally just dropping there. Sometimes. And that's one thing that bugs me when I was playing through it. Is you'll have some jumps, right? You'll glide and you'll do the hover, but then he just drops out of the fucking sky for some reason, rather than, you know, getting that little bit of extra needed height to get the jump to work. It's like you can glide normally, but if you try to hover, he just drops for some reason. Boys. Are you serious? I forgot all about these guys. This insurrection from the farms has This insurrection from the farm is getting out of hand. We must stop them before it's too late. With all the With all the budget cuts, um, we had to make Spyro reignited downloadable for Spyro 2 and 3 because we didn't have enough time. Ubisoft pushed us to release it early, so for the holidays, so it wasn't as perfect as we wanted it to be. Uh, when I was freaking playing Spyro 01 through that speedway that I freaking hated, because there's like two sections of it. It's like you got boats, planes, and chests, and arches. And you can only really go through one at a time. How the fuck does that work? You would have think that you'd have to charge that guy. That makes no sense. It completely goes against what the game's established at this point. But anyways, it's like you can only go for like two of the four at a time. And they're all a pain in the ass. And one mess up is all you have to... Will take to like screw up the entire thing. You won't be able to do it. So I was getting frustrated with that, right? And I'd click retry. And I'd be like, ugh, still in a bad mood, and it would load really fast, and I'd like instantly fail because it loaded too fast. And then I remember just like saying out loud to myself, it's like, ah, fucking course, cool. Spyro 1 loads fast while well, Spyro 2 and 3 load like shit or something along that line. Because it's true, man, Spyro 2 and 3 load times are a lot worse. Like, Spyro 1 loads instantly. It's very obvious that Spyro 1 is the most polished of three. Because they weren't given enough time to work on the other ones. I hear they have to outsource it to some other company or team or whatever for Spyro 3 because they didn't have enough time. Which is a real shame, man. Like I said in the previous part, at least I think I said in the previous part. They really should have, you know, done each game one at a time. Sure, some people are fucked. Fuck. Some people would be a bit kind of pissed at having to wait. I mean, I'd probably be a bit annoyed as well, but... 
It'd be better for the quality in the long run. And since playing Reignited, I am keep it having the habit of freaking using the analog stick to try to turn the camera, but it's not the case yet. Seriously, it doesn't quite work that way with Spire, you know. That R2L2 thing is where it's at, man. It's, it's ingrained. You change that up and you just freaking need to confusion. And then switching back leads to all of confusion. Knew that would happen. This level isn't tough, but I am kind of a bit hazy memory wise of it. Uh, when it comes to like memories from playing this game when I was a kid, this level is kind of uh, not really all there. I'm not sure if I ever even completed Spyro 2 when I was a kid. Which is weird, because I feel like Spyro 2, like at least I f nowadays, maybe I did back then, I feel like Spyro 2 is better than Spyro 3. And I might be. As you can see, a vicious axe has taken over our armory. We thought that freezing the walkway would keep animals out. The axe is very tough. I advise using the bombs against it, and it'll probably take several bombs at that. We'll never regain control of the armory without your help. We'll never... Now, I remember this being slightly, ever so slightly, being a bit of a pain ass, but not by much. It's doable. Okay, it may not be as doable as I first stated, but trust me, I think it's because I've sourced a charge. Maybe no, you can't charge an ice cream. Hmm. What a dilemma. I changed my mind. This is gonna be difficult. It's Robotica Farms all over again. Where I said, "Oh, this challenge is easy." I hear some people have trouble with, it, but it's easy. And then I proceed to fail miserably. I didn't even get the bastards. Fuck. This is why people don't like ice physics, you know, because you don't have a lot of control. Fucking bullshit. There we go, there's one. Because if those bombs hit you, if I recall, they will instantly explode in your face. And I keep using the analog stick. Damn you, Spyro Reignited. You've thrown off my mojo here. Now I have to get used to the freaking controls again. I really should just switch to the uh, classic controls in Reignited, because switching back to this after that is just freaking throwing me off. It's like you literally have to get off the bloody pitch here in order to, you know, readjust yourself to get a good shot. Because it ain't happening here, that's for damn sure. And the cameras just keep, keep changing. One thing I always find the pain in the ass in the Spyro series is the camera. I find that in a lot of uh, 3D platforms in general, really. I remember when I played Super Mario Sunshine back in the day, I fucking hated the camera in the more platform heavy kind of challenges. Because it was just really hard to see what you were doing. Like, 2D platformers are freaking, you know, straightforward. They're challenging, because, you know, they're challenging. But they're not challenging because of camera, because they're two-dimensional.
Excellent work, dragon. We can now defend our city properly. Take this visually pleasing reward. That being said, though, I just fought back to the original Rayman. And... That also had... <laughs> it's like some... I guess it doesn't matter if it's 2D or 3D. Some camera angles are fucking horrible in video games, especially platformers. It's like camera... the camera can be too zoomed in or too zoomed out or there's just some... usually something just out of sight and you have to do leap of faiths and shit like that. That's the kind of stuff that annoys me. That's, that's kind of the trial and error stuff that I keep ranting about, you know? Whenever I say I hate trial and error, it's shit like that. Uh, trial and error where there's literally no chance of you knowing. Well, getting past something the first time around, you gotta fail a bunch of times to get it, essentially. That kind of trial and error. It's so freaking annoying. Oh yeah, I remember this level now I'm starting to remember. I don't remember it from childhood though. It's like when I like think back to childhood and I played Spyro 2 and 3. It's like I can only remember certain levels kind of vividly, but only some, you know? But it's both of them. And like for this one, it's like Skelo's Badlands or Skelo's Badlands, I have to call it, and Sunny Beach. Those two stand out in my memory the most. And I suppose maybe Colossus and uh, Ice Springs a bit. You know, levels like those, but then when I played Spyro 3, like the original Spyro 3 last year, I didn't help it out. I played it. And I was like, when I was getting ready to play, I was like, so what, what levels were in Spyro 3? Because I couldn't remember jack shit. Like it did eventually come back to me when I actually played it, but. I don't know, I found I find the levels in this game more memorable. I mean there are some decent, if not pretty good levels in Spire 3, but they just kind of feel a bit flat. They lack that intro and outro movie. They've got too much emphasis on bullshit. And it just feels a bit overkill at times. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. That's, that's all that level. Okay, so it just shields them, but you gotta hit them with fire breath. Damn you, space cows! You made me look bad at the start of this. Can't even say at the start of this part, because I rambled a lot before that. Ah, Spyro. I heard you were coming. Thank you for your efforts in thwarting this attempt at coup. Please take this item, which living creatures seem to like. I don't get that, man. I mean, I guess we did kind of help him out by destroying the cows along the way, the space cows, but still. It's a first for Avalar, a combination power-up. Thank goodness you're here to test it out. These invading sheep and their spaceships must be stopped. I like this. this I think this is the only time in the entire game where, like, you get the end of the level thing, and then it's like, oh, by the way, here's an extra challenge from the very same character, essentially. What the hell are those? Keep after those saucers, Spyro. Remember your training. What did you say they were? Sheep or cows or what? Keep after those saucers, Spyro. I don't remember my training. Well, this bit's kind of fun. I mean, again, to use the, uh... Oh, that, that's a thing, actually, that that's a good comparison. Like, in this game, this is fun, you know? This is, this is using this ability correctly, in my opinion. Having the Super Owl flying ability combined with the Super Flame. It's, it's a nice kind of use of it. And that dragon thing I mentioned in uh, Fireworks Factory that I hated in Spire 3, 
that is an example of doing this badly. Because my god, that fucking challenge is just noxiously fucking annoying. I don't know how, it's just like you have to freaking get lucky. Because you gotta take down two freaking serpent like dragons that are flying around being assholes. And it's just a, just. Excellent work. You knocked those sheep right out of the sky. This form device is proof of your skill. It's just fucking bullshit because they regenerate essentially, right? And you gotta like keep hitting them and it's just... Even if you focus on one, it's hard to hit them and the fucking camera is a bitch to control and you're constantly in the air. You gotta avoid getting hit, you gotta avoid landing in lava blow, you gotta avoid fucking bouncing off the fucking walls. It is the worst. I hate it so much. Ugh. It's like, it's a cool idea on paper, but the execution is fucking terrible. I knew it. Those first sheep sent out a distress call. Oh. The next wave of saucers is incoming. So they are sheep. Keep after those saucers, Spyro. Remember your training. I didn't have any formal training, but whatever. At least with these guys, you only have to hit them once. Freaking Spire Free, you gotta hit them a billion times and it's hard enough to hit them once. Especially when they get to a small size. It's terrible. And these guys are a lot easier to hit, despite the fact that I'm missing half the time. That's one thing I hated in the speedways. I mean, it's, I know I keep ratting about it, but yeah. Nice flying, Airman. You've proven the genius of my double power-up invention. Here, keep this to commemorate your victory. Yeah, sorry I keep ranting though, but uh, speedways, right? What I hate in speedways is when you're literally down to just one fucking bastard target left, and you can't find it because you've taken out all the other ones but you've freaking overlooked one bastard and have to do the whole thing all over again and it happens cons when it happens consistently it just becomes really frustrating I hate that so much it's, and Sparks I gotta say Sparks you are absolutely terrible in reignited like I said in the previous part, Sparks, for whatever reason, just refuses to pick up gems unless you're literally right on them. So he's pretty much pointless in that game. Because he doesn't freaking reach out to the gems half time. Like if you're in the air, he doesn't even freaking attempt to get them. And you saw when uh, like, I was flying through the air and he picked up some of the gems. I mean, what happened, Sparks? You were cool in this game and all that in the originals, and then you just kind of freaking shut the bed or something. And we're like, I don't want to freaking pick up gems anymore, Spyro. That's just oh the shit. I don't know, just one of those things that bugs me in the reignited is just those little things, you know. Oh boy. Where am I even going? I've been ranting this whole part more or less that I can't even remember what I'm doing. It's definitely not that. But yeah, Sparks. You're absolutely terrible in reigniting for whatever reason. It just... why? It's like, like I said, like, I don't know, what, where can I use an example? I need to, like, because I, I pointed it out in the previous part, but really gotta, like, get some good example here, but I can't. It's like, uh, let's, let's actually get to the ground level somewhere, uh, where there'd be 
somewhere that I could pinpoint exactly how bullshit Spox is in Reignited. But there's nothing around here that really does it. Yeah. Come on, you slow moving bastard. You gotta get that out of there. It's like I may be ranting, but I've still gotta focus on the objective here. Alright, now that we got that accomplished. Say for example right here, say there was a gem right gems right here, right in front of us on top of here. Sparks would not even attempt to get them unless we jumped up here. That's how bad Sparks is in Ring Night. It's bullshit and it annoys me. It's like a really mixed feeling still on the Reignited, you know? Like it's it nails a few things really well. It does some things really well, but you know how it is when something does things badly that's like gonna stand out more than anything else, isn't it? Is there even anything else here? Another thing is playing reignited you press L3 the get sparks to look around while in rig the original version here you hold down R1, R2, L1 and L2. So yeah. A bit confusing switching between the two. I mean this level is pretty much done and I've barely paid attention to it. Which is a shame because it's the final real level in the game aside from the last speedway anyway. And look, you can get sparks to look around even while in the air. That's another thing I couldn't seem to do in Reignited for some reason. Then you need to do the proper thing there. Just like, yeah, who needs to do a head bash? And you can just flame the shit out of it. Gems! And Metropolis complete. Pretty easy level compared to some of. Well, well yeah, I think all the uh, last area levels aren't really all that difficult. They make some of them a bit have some challenge to them, like, I don't know, whatever. Still waiting for that bus. I can totally relate. Buses suck. You don't even have any numbers. Anyway, I suppose that doesn't matter now that he's being ran over. Was he waiting for a crossing light or some shit? It's like, is, when's it gonna go green? I look at my watch. It's like it's been half an hour now. Should should I just chance it? And as soon as he chances it, he gets absolutely wrecked. Poor guy. Well, it's a shame though, you know. That's the last real level of this game. Other than the speedway, which we'll do in the next part. And then we will take on Ripto. Kick his ass. And actually, no, we won't actually. Let <laughs> I think about it, because there is uh, still some other old that I want to go back to get in Fracture Hills and Shady Oasis. And that's it, really, isn't it? And then I'll take on Ripto and hope to fuck that I've somehow got all the skill points as well, which I doubt. Because, again, that's one positive I'll give to Reignite on that. At least they give you a list of what skill points you've done. Because in this, it's kind of guesswork. And it's bullshit. 
Anyways, I'll just save the game again. I mean, it does it automatically, but I like to save manually as well. And that is that. So, I guess I'll see you next time for when we go through... Where, where is it, actually? I always forget. It's down this way, isn't it? Somewhere. I mean, look at that! You wouldn't think to go down there, would you? It's like a really... I don't know, it's kind of well hidden, but at the same time, not really. I mean, it's easy to miss. I mean, I missed it when I played through it last year before while doing it. But yeah, Canyon Speedway will be what we'll do next. It is not really that bad, but the uh, challenge with Hunter, I don't particularly like. Which is part of the course for pretty much all of them, really. But anyways, I'll see you next time for that, viewers. See you next time.